Hey guys, so I'm going to continue working on my Tanya Shetsiva diamond painting and this is actually for Gravity Trance. Let me show you the canvas. I usually keep it rolled up because it's so huge so it makes it difficult for me to work on it if it's laid out completely flat. But this is a size 90 by 73, so it's very big, and I'm about, I think about 40%, 40% complete with the project. So I've got um, this part down and then um, her arm and a portion of her hand, so we just need to do this upper part over here. And I've had to take a break because we had to finish the boards, the bead boards, and then we also had... Uh, Zuli's birthday party and a few other things happening so um, we had to take a break but right now I'm currently working on this so I'll continue a little bit for today. So I'm just gonna roll this up so just in case you have a huge diamond painting like this you can just roll it out like this up to the area that you are gonna be working on and you can actually do the same thing for the bottom part you can roll it outward, never in, roll it outward so that you can keep this part, the bottom, closer to you. Otherwise, if it's rolled out on one side, but then you've got the rest flat, it's going to be difficult if I were sitting down to reach that area. You'd be like trying to stretch over to, you know, be able to reach um, the canvas where you need to place the beads on. So what would be best to do is to simply roll it outward this way. So just roll it out like this. Remember when you're rolling the canvas, if it already has beads on them, you have to roll out where the beads are actually on the outside instead of inside. So now we've got a smaller canvas to work on. And if you can't see it from where the camera is at, I'm going to go on ahead and show it to you. So this is basically what I've done. So as you can see, I've rolled that part up to where her hand's at because those areas have been completed, but a little bit above that, is the area that has not been completed. Okay, so let's say for example you're having a difficult time working on your large painting this way with a portion of this part rolled up right because you need to to lean your elbow on the table for example um here is another alternative and it's simply to keep it rolled but simply turn it upside down and you can let this side hang over the table because it doesn't have beads yet so I suggest that you start actually from one end going up. Um, you can also start from this end and then continue by starting on this end, but it may make it difficult for you to get to the middle part. So we probably don't want to do that. And what you can do is, that way you can just keep going in a straight fashion, going upwards or downwards, is that start from the bottom and then work your way up. So you're always working in one direction. So you can just leave this hanging like this. That way you can lean your elbow on the table and you can have this portion that you can work on that's flat and you don't have to worry about this um, popping beads out of the canvas because it doesn't have beads yet while you keep this portion rolled outwards. So the reason I recommend that you write down uh, the symbol instead of the DMC code when you're kidding up and getting started with your diamond painting is if you do so, um, you won't have to keep referring to this part 
on your canvas because you already have the actual code that's written on your canvas and you can match it to the particular color that you want or you need for that code. Because if you write down the DMC code instead of the symbol, then you're always going to have to refer to the legend, which of course will take time and sometimes it's just not as convenient as simply taking the tray that you know is for the code X, for example. So hopefully that makes sense. And um, since, you know, I was showing the Gravity Trans by Tanya Shetsiva in this video, I'm going to go on ahead and show you now the finished result. Yes, we have finally finished it. I may have shown it in a previous vlog, but um, this is the first time that I actually got time to edit this video um, about tips on how to work with large canvases. Just in case it's really difficult for you and you need to refer to the legend at all times, you can always print. Um, that part of the canvas that has the legend either by scanning it onto your machine or you can just simply take a photo of it and then print that photo. So we're gonna have um, Reggie get it from the workshop so he can show it to you guys. Um, let's wait for his arrival. Dun, 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 dun. And there is Gravity Trance. There. There we go. It is huge. So the woman in the picture is actually bigger than Reggie, right? If she were real. The face? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, this Being is 90 by 73 cm. That's bigger than that. It's almost, almost square, but not quite. Um, and, you know, there's just a lot of beautiful detail. We see, like, the specks that look like the galaxy. And then, of course, there's that hand amidst the darkness that's kind of touching her cheek. So this is a very, very um, mysterious sort of design, I think. But it's got something that's very captivating about it, um, which I think is a bit seductive as well. So I don't know what you guys think. Let us know what you think of this painting by Tanya Shetsiva and now converted into a diamond painting. Let us know what it makes you feel, what it makes you think, and you know, if you like it, uh, comment down below and let us know and um, we'll mention your feedback to this painting by Tanya Shetsiva in the next vlog. Alright, thanks Reggie. <laughs>